Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 15. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys how to use colors in CSS. So uh, you'll see that I've got my uh, text editor open and this is the same code as the previous tutorial. So I've just got my paragraph linked to my external style sheet and uh, I've kept the same CSS as the previous tutorial. So uh, if I take a look at this in my browser, then this is what it looks like. I have a paragraph that is italici italicized, bolded, uh, size 36 pixels or something, and Helvetica, right? So uh, now I want to show you guys how to use colors in CSS because uh, in the previous tutorial, well, not, not the previous one, but the one before that, I showed you guys that you can use uh, colors to change the color of a text or the color of text, right? So this is the color property and it changes that color of that text, right? So by default, text is black uh, in my browser, but uh, if I wanna change it, I, there are a whole bunch of preset HTML colors that I can use. So in previous tutorials, I've used blue, uh, I've used red, uh, there are orange, pink, uh, gray, uh, there are a bunch of preset colors, but uh, they are really, really, really limited. Uh, so you have about <laughs> 20 colors to choose from, if that. And uh, let's say you wanted to use blue, but you didn't want to use the specific blue that appears whenever you use this color, right? Uh, so let me just save that. And if I come back over to the browser and hit refresh, you can see that this blue is pretty much um, a royal blue. It's a, kind of like a dark blue, but I don't really like like this. And let's say I wanted to use a different color blue. How do I go about doing that? Well, there are two different ways I can do that. I can use an RGB color or I can use a hexadecimal color. So uh, I know those names might sound confusing, but let me show you guys how to uh, get one of those uh, values. So the first thing you could do is just Google CSS color picker, and uh, this will then um, present you with a color picker in Google. If this doesn't show up, uh, scroll down, look at the results. There's a whole bunch of CSS color picker tools that you could use that are on actual websites. So you could use that. Um, although this color picker built straight into Google is a really cool tool. Um, and so I'll either use this or uh, most of the time I'll actually use Photoshop. Um, so if you don't have Photoshop, use Google. If you do have Photoshop, use Photoshop. Uh, it's up to you. Um, and uh, basically what you do here is you just like uh, pick the color you wanna use. So let's say I wanted to use like a very light kind of baby blue color or a sky blue. Let's look for a sky blue, um, something like that. Right, so there is my color showing up. Same thing over here, if I wanted to just search, uh, the color will show up over here. And uh, you can see that we've got this um, number with a hashtag in front of it. That is called a hexadecimal value. In Photoshop, it appears down here. Uh, so that is our hexadecimal value, and right now, neither of them are the same. But let's just copy this and I'm gonna go over to HTML and uh, paste that color in over here. And this color always needs to have a hashtag in front of it. The reason why is because uh, the hash tells the browser or tells whatever browser rendering um, our website uh, that we are using a hexadecimal color and this is the hexadecimal code of the color we wanna use. So let's save this. Uh, I'm gonna jump back over to the browser and hit refresh and you can now see that I've got a very light baby blue kind of color appearing, uh, which is exactly what I had here in Photoshop. Uh, so that is how you can get hold of a hexadecimal color. The other color that you can use is an RGB color, which you can see in Google's color picker is over here. Uh, so RGB stands for red, green, and blue. And if you think back to like your first art class that you ever had, um, your teachers probably would have told you that all colors in the world can be made from three different colors. 
uh, and these are our primary colors and these primary colors are red, green and blue, right? So you need to mix these colors around. Actually, I think yellow is a primary color and green isn't. So confusing, but um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, what you need to do now is just mix all of these colors or look, oh wow. I feel like I'm in an art class telling you to mix colors. No, okay. So what you need to do now is just pick a color that you wanna use. In this case, I think I might wanna use a pink uh, or not a pink, but a red. Um, so let's look for a nice a nice color red over there. That I think that looks good. Um, and uh, you'll see that these numbers kind of change. So let me just copy this and I'm gonna paste that in my uh, text editor and then I'll explain. Uh, so you'll see that these numbers kind of change, but they never go above 255 and they'll never go below zero because RGB uh, values have a maximum value of 255 and a minimum value of zero. So if you set all of these to 255, you'd have a white color. Uh, and I can prove that by just pulling uh, the the little color picking dot all the way to the corner over there. And you can see that white is... Um, 255, 255, 255. Uh, it also has a hexadecimal color of F, 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 F. And then black has an RGB value of 0, 0, 0, or an RG, uh, a hexadecimal uh, value of 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, right? Uh, and then everything else in between uh, is kind of a mixture of, of numbers. Uh, so that's exactly how RGB values work, right? 255 is the highest value, zero is the lowest value, and uh, the more or less the numbers are, um, determine how much red, how much green, and how much blue is in the color, and therefore determines what the color is. So let's uh, jump back over to my browser, come back here and hit refresh, and now you can see instead of that blue color, I've got a red color, and this uh, we got using an RGB value. Um, now, a quick little tip I wanna give you guys is that we don't only have RGB, we have something called RGBA, which stands for RGB alpha. Uh, and alpha, if you guys are wondering, because I know some of you might be, uh, just stands for transparency. So one means that our color is fully uh, opaque, it's fully, it's solid, we can see it, right? So let's hit refresh and you can see nothing actually changed, right? Because uh, I've got that one there. But let's say I wanted my text to be slightly transparent. I could set this equal to 0.5 and that would make it 50% uh, solid, 50% transparent. So let's come back here and hit refresh. And you can see it sort of seems to be disappearing into the white background now. And that is because uh, we've set that transparency value. So uh, it is 50% is uh, solid, 50% opaque. Uh, and you can set this to a number of different values. It could be 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, whatever you want. Uh, as long as it's a number less than one, it'll have some transparency. And if it is completely zero, then it'll be completely transparent and you won't be able to see it at all. Uh, so let's bring it back to 0.5 so we can still see it. And uh, that is how you work with colors in HTML. And that is all I have for you in this video. So hopefully you found it helpful and I'll see you guys next time.